Can this USB-C hub solve all your connectivity problems? Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out this. This is the Mavinex 9-in-1 USB-C hub and it's pretty nice. It is made out of an aluminum alloy, which means that it has nice heat dissipation because they do get warm. You push a lot of power through this because it can handle 100 watts. So it actually can do 100 watt power delivery on the USB-C, which actually on the connection in here, this is actually a Thunderbolt 3 power only connection. There's another USB-C on the other side, but let me give you a tour of the ports real quick, and then we'll plug in a bunch of stuff and see how it works. So on this side, you have USB-C and three USB 3.0 ports. And on the end, you have an ethernet. That's a one gig ethernet connection. And on the other side, you have another USB-C that's power delivery only, and you have micro SD and SD card readers and HDMI. Now that HDMI is 4K UHD at 30 Hertz, or if you want to run just at 1080p HD, you can get 60 Hertz. All of that's well and good, but let's plug things in and see how it works. Now, let me tell you what I got here. So we have the unit, we have a MacBook Pro that only has USB-C, which means plugging things in is a pain. I have a Google Pixel 5a with USB 3 we'll plug in. I have my Apple AirPods Pro with USB 3 I'll plug in. I have an external hard drive that also has USB 3 we can try. I have HDMI for the monitor behind me. I have an SD card. I have a micro SD card, and of course we have the MacBook Pro itself. So I'm gonna open up the MacBook Pro, I'm gonna switch to its screen, and then we'll see what happens as I plug different things in. Let's do it. All right, let's plug it in. I'm gonna go ahead and plug the port in, and nothing happens there, which is fine. But now I have a 100 watt wall charger, and I'm gonna plug that in to the unit and then of course the unit is plugged into my computer i've opened up system report i'm going to go to power i'm going to scroll down and there you go very nice it's delivering 92 watts of power that's very impressive but what happens as i plug in other things well let's find out so i'll start with my micro sd card which is out of one of my cameras and then i will plug in the sd card too and you can see the micro SD is already shown up on the desktop. And then there's the SD card. I'll close this. And what else can I plug in? Well, let's see. We can plug in that external hard drive. Let's see how that goes. That's showing up somewhere. Let's see. Hopefully. There it is. So that's three drives I have hooked up. And now, while I'm at it, let's go ahead and charge my AirPods Pro. So that's just a power use. And I'll also charge the phone. That's, again, also just using that USB 3 for power. So the phone might show up on the desktop. I'm not sure. But let's go ahead. And while we have this here, this is the micro SD card. I'm going to drop a 500 megabyte file onto it. And let's just see how fast that goes. I would say that's entirely acceptable performance. Let's go to that external hard drive and I'm gonna open that up, move it over here. And now I'm gonna do that same 500 meg file and it is going pretty darn fast. So the good news is that throughput is really fast. So now that I've captured all this on screen, let me go back on camera and then we'll check out that HDMI connection. All right, so this is a pretty much an octopus at this point. There's a lot plugged in, but there's one port we haven't tried yet, and that is our HDMI. So I'm going to untape the cable, and we're going to plug it in, and let's just see what happens. So if it works properly, then that should give us that as a second screen, and I can see this flashing, and I can see that working. So there you go. We got everything we possibly could hooked up to this unit 
everything's working, the phone is charging, the AirPods are charging, all three storage devices are working. I just showed you writing to them. Writing is always slower than reading. Here's my 100 watt charger and that's plugged into this and this is plugged into the computer giving me 92 watts of power. That is pretty sweet. So there's a lot to like about this. Now, give me just another second and I'll unplug everything and then we'll talk about the price. That was a lot of gear to plug in, but it all worked and it all worked well. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about this. So the unit has, it's pushing through that 100 watts. It's already warmed up a tiny bit, which doesn't surprise me. That's a lot of energy to be running through a device, but it does have over voltage, over current, overheating and short circuit protection. As I said, the HDMI connection can run 4K UHD at 30 Hertz or 1080p at 60 Hertz. So it's not as good as a super fancy Blu-ray connection to your high-end television, but for a second monitor or something, it's gonna look great and you're gonna enjoy Netflix or your favorite sporting event while you're working, or you can mirror your screen and you can actually have it be something like a demo that you're giving to people at a trade show. So all works really well. It has a cable that's about eight inches long and it's a ruggedized cable, they say. It seems like it's in pretty tough. I think it's gonna last a good long time. Dimensions wise, it's four inches by two inches by six tenths of an inch. It is a negligible weight. It is really easy to just throw this into your computer bag or backpack or purse. And then whenever you get somewhere, plug this into your USB-C only computer. Maybe it's a MacBook Air, maybe it's a MacBook Pro, maybe it's a Dell or a Toshiba or a Chromebook or something. This will work with Windows, it'll work with Mac, it'll work with Chrome OS, it'll work with Linux. It's hardware, there's no software involved, right? So lots to like about it and it's at a really nice price. But before we get to the price, I'm gonna ask if you could subscribe to my channel, a click or a tap and I really appreciate that we're we're connected. Woot. <laughs> All right. This is the Mavinex 9-in-1 USB-C hub and it's $49.99, but there's a 30% discount right now, dropping it down to $34.99 at amazon.com. For $35, get one, throw it in your bag, and you'll never have to worry about what kind of connection you have down the road. So, it's definitely one worth checking out. I'm gonna get back to charging all my devices, which means I'll catch you in my next video.